Chef with Simple Cooking Made Simple. We made one of my favorite sides, green beans. <laughs> yeah, but they're not all green because you got your bacon in there and your onion. Look at these. And these were gift. The green beans were a gift from my parents. They have a huge garden usually every year. And she canned some green beans, and the last time they come out to visit, she brought me some. Oh, I love these green beans. They taste so good. Yeah. So stay tuned. Watch this full video and see what all that we put in here. And it'll also be in the description below. If you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and do so. And let's play. So let's get started. We're using two mason jars that was canned by my mother last summer. And these are so good. Homegrown green beans, yeah! Also have a YouTube channel for their their farm. You guys should go check it out. It's Bear W. Daylily Farm. My dad does a bunch of different stuff. He shows you what they're doing on the farm. He, show, he also does gardening tips. And then they once Daylily season starts coming in, He'll do videos on the daylilies as well. So if you like flowers, you like gardening, you should go check out their channel. So we're going to take two cans or two two of these jars, jars, and we're going to empty our green beans in our pot. And then I have a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. And if you try these and you want it a little bit saltier or a little bit more pepper, you can add that. I like adding garlic to mine as well, but I'm doing a garlic homemade mashed potato later. So I didn't want everything to have garlic in it, which I'm cool with that, but I like to have flavors that go well together and I don't want everything flavored the same. So now we're gonna add onion. And I like to, if you have an issue with cutting an onion and you get kind of sad and you start to cry, put them in the refrigerator and that'll help with that so you're not crying. And then also, instead of breathing in through your nose, breathe in with your mouth. And that'll help with when you're cutting your onions so you're not crying and get all sad. So I'm just gonna slice these up and then we'll add this in there. And I'm not breaking these up because as they boil, they will break up. This just gives this a little extra flavor. And now I'm going to add our bacon and I'm just gonna I'm using a thick cut smoked bacon and I'm just going to do small little slices and you can just if you don't want to put bacon in there you can put bacon grease or you can take already cooked bacon your choice or you don't have to put bacon you can use bacon you can use a uh, beef base so in my pot here you can tell that the water is not covering and you want to make sure everything is covered and we're just going to cook this down to pretty much all the liquid is out and that just adds so much flavor to your green beans to your onion to your bacon this is just a real nice way to make a southern green bean so i'm going to put this on the oven with no lid and let it cook out all the liquid and then we'll see how it looks all right our green beans have finished cooking we've cooked most of that juice out of there there's still a little bit in there and that's fine it'll just help them stay hot but this is a nice bowl of some green beans there's so much flavor in here with the bacon with the onion with the salt and the pepper i could almost make a song with that salt pepper bacon <laughs> do a little dance <laughs> So these are great. They taste awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And make sure you do the three S's. Smash that like button. Share with your family and friends. Subscribe. 
Click your little notification bell up there so you don't miss a video. And thank you so much.